okay well uh, hi everyone minister maggie and um uh, sitting down to um do this live video about um do this video about retreats right uh personal retreats um <laughs> but i'm sorry that i didn't do this sooner but father i'm here now and i'm doing this and i'm just praying that you fill me up that uh my words can help more people to really consider going on personal retreats um and that you reveal yourself to them in a special way during this special time just like you revealed yourself to me lord i give you the glory through it all Holy Spirit, just continue to have your way and blow. Father, increase as I decrease. I bless you. I worship you. I adore you. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So, my love and healing ministry tribe, right? The Lord has been so blessed me. I have like over 200 people who, uh, who follow this page and I'm just thinking to myself, if this were a, a physical church, am I going to be able to take care of 200 people, even just feed them with whatever? You know, people don't follow you just for following sake, especially when it has to do with ministry and church and all of that. No, they don't get anything from what you are doing or putting out there. Then they don't come back or they don't follow, they don't like, they don't subscribe and all of those things. I think on YouTube is about 165 already. On Instagram is, I don't know, 100 or something. And I'm just like, Father, you know, uh, me, I don't know why I keep saying this, but that is what it is. And God knows that I'm not for crowd. I'm not for numbers. I, not for mega anything. I, I don't have me that power. So I just give God all the glory for whatever. He gives me i see one two three four five and i'm like father thank you so much for everything so um it is a lot doing it is marvelous by my side i went on a personal retreat on the 21st of december and i was back on the 24th of december i mean i had it was already in my program that i was going to go for a retreat in december this year because the last time i went for a personal retreat should be told was in october 2016 that was actually the first time i went for a retreat like go to somewhere not like just stay in my room for one day and stuff like that no because um, i can really say that my work with god became really serious in 2015 and yet there was still some dilly darling until november last year so um this year the team is mark honor god so I wanted to honor him in all ways possible, right up to the last, last thing I'm doing in this year. Like for me, that retreat was going to be the coronation of this year. And um, I kept looking for a favorable time until I decided that, well, I just have to go. I don't have to care whether there's anybody to prepare Christmas and all those things now. Um, I'm so good to go. I'm so grateful. God has done just so much for me in this year in particular. I was asking him for something. He said, wait, 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 before I give you, right? I've not said I will not give you, but before that, can you just count your blessings, list them to me one by one, pray for them. When you finish, come back. I cannot go back. I've not finished. <laughs> he keeps even giving me new ones. So I have, I have learned, I, I cannot, I should even just stop going to him for something. I'm just like, okay, Papa, thank you. Thank you. And I want to talk about retreats and then, um, God led me to watch these powerful teachings by this man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman, whom I discovered on YouTube um, sometimes this year. And it's the season for me to watch him, learn from him, watch him closely, learn from him always and all of that and share some of those things I am learning with you, right? In all your dealing, seek um, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all of that. Uh, the proverbs are there. I mean, seriously, sometimes I'm like, Father God, where well, I wish I could just be talking about all these things 24-7, but I cannot. As you can hear my voice, I'm still tired. I'm just from a session with a couple. Couple sessions are usually more intense than um, individual sessions. And um, yeah, since I came back from that retreat, I've just been into the flow. 
so it's like today i have ended sessions no more session if there's fire on the mountain please that person will just have to go somewhere else but not me until next year i'm not taking on any session again i'm not i'm really just trying to how many more days even i just want to end it in church and end it with with god and my family i don't want no work no father <laughs> you know man plans man proposes and god disposes so let me not run my mouth too much so let me talk about retreat you know because um god asked me if i was going to wait until one week passes before i do this and i was like no papa i'm sorry i actually had to um i did talk a little bit about my experience before leaving the retreat center but that was on the um musings on ministry talking about discipline and self-discipline and also just doing a little short thing on tiktok or wherever about it but that's not enough you know when you want to um minister to people because this is what it is now ministering to people with um the whole idea of retreat it's a very important spiritual exercise it's not just an idea um you have to sit down and um, you have to make some notes and you have to link some sources where people can go and nourish themselves better because hey me i don't know me i don't even know one tenth i'm just i'm a baby christian i'm a baby minister <laughs> when i say this to my pastor she'll be like no you're yeah, no baby no nothing you know you know how to pray you know how to do this you know how to do that and i thank her because she got me to start praying because they say oh, i don't know me what to pray i'm still learning no you know how to pray pray and that's how i started praying <laughs> and god started trusting me more and he will wake me up and i say pray for so person I say call this person ask them what they want pray for them pray for this person pray for this pray for that pray for yourself pray for me. and now it's like <laughs> sometimes i'm dozing and my son is like what were you doing at night <laughs> i was like i was up praying for you <laughs> so yeah I've, I've linked two powerful teachings there by the man of god um, which also enhanced my experience because as much as i knew the purpose for which i'm going on this retreat it's always good to have a purpose um i didn't i didn't have such a well structured process like the one that he he puts out there right he submits to us five things we must do when we go on the personal retreat first of all he's encouraging us i watched one of his teachings this morning i think it was six prophetic um something for the year 2023 one of them was go on a retreat um one of them oh my goodness sometimes i learn i write and write sometimes by the time i finish writing my head is aching and i'm like aha this is my book <laughs> i now see why god wanted me to buy this size and not the small size and stuff see uh, stubbornness is not good you are always learning the book is almost full can you imagine when did i start this book on the 5th of february 2022 yeah third of february 2022 that's the poor book there now <laughs> ma who wrote in this book like this <laughs> oh my goodness where papa got <laughs> you are the one that we pray you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that hearts always hunger for oh hearts always hunger for yeah it is that hunger that to take you on a retreat it is that hunger that took me on a retreat that hunger to know more so one of the things, the first thing, actually, not one of the first thing you should do when you go on a retreat. First of all, what is the reason? Why are you going on a retreat? Right. My purpose for going on a retreat was to draw. I have come to draw. Draw from you again, Lord. That was my purpose. And I didn't want to draw in the midst of people and stuff. And I didn't want to be stingy. I didn't want to say, ah, Papa, but if I lock myself up in my room for three days, I can still draw. No. I wanted to go to the retreat center, the spiritual, the Jesuit center. It's in Bonamusadi in Douala, Cameroon, and was very affordable. I've said it right. Um, their current rates are 6,000 francs for a night. That's excluding of meals. I was not eating, so I had no business with food. 
um, get their meals uh, 2,000 francs for lunch, 2,000 francs for dinner, 1,000 francs for breakfast and stuff like that. So, yeah, my purpose was uh, I, I was coming to draw. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a purpose. The next thing is, what is the process? What are you going to be doing? Um, there are different kinds of retreats. Apostle talks about it and that I know. There's the corporate retreats when I was working for MTA and stuff. They'll say departmental retreat. We're going for a retreat in Kribi. Well, they're just taking themselves out to go and uh, have a great time and then um, brainstorm business strategy and all of that. Um, spiritual retreats are different. You're not going for any party. That's why I went to a place where there are very strict rules and regulations. No noise. No phone should be heard ringing, vibrating, nothing. Um, no bringing in food, no visitor, no, no, all of those things. Because while you're at home, you know, people can knock your door. People can call you. What are you going to do? You know, and all of that. And I didn't want to go to a hotel. God forbid. You want to go and have an encounter with God. You are going to a hotel. You don't even know what has been going on. Which spirits are roaming around there. Eh, eh. So that's why I went to this uh, retreat center. The first thing you do, which it talks about when you go for a retreat, is Thanksgiving. Like, this is my book, right? Let me see my Thanksgiving page. Thanksgiving. What has the Lord done for you in this year, 2022? You know, uh, I was listening to a radio program and they were asking people to call in and say one didn't go well for them this year. And not only don't I know how to call in, but I'm like, I don't want to focus on what did go well for me this year. The fact that I'm even still alive, that's enough reason to be very grateful for and to kind of like about what didn't go well. Like, no, nah, I didn't want to. So, um, what did I say? Thanksgiving, Papa. Uh oh. Okay, well, for me, well, let me just talk about that, but I'm going to talk about how it worked for me, right? I, oh my goodness, I still have a letter to write to myself. Okay, well, that one is for, again, January 1st, so I can write it tomorrow. Okay, so this is my Thanksgiving book. You know me, I write like a doctor, so nobody can read it, so don't bother about it. But, I mean, I feel two pages that I did not finish, and I was like, it is it, it is it, it is it. So, um... When I got there, I, you know, I told the Holy Spirit, you're going to be my retreat director because people go for retreats. They are usually accompanied. I heard of some people who have booked for a retreat with some man of God in Cameroon and the man is asking for exorbitant sums of money to be their spiritual director. So I'm very grateful, Holy Spirit, that you are my spiritual director during those three days. I did not open my mouth to talk to somebody from day one to day three. Nobody, nobody talks to nobody there. The first time I was there in 20 I was like, what kind of things? These people are just passing and just burning their heads. Am I in a monastery? But this time, I'm the one who did not want to talk to anybody. I was also passing and burning my head. And then I didn't have no father that I had to go and see and review my day and all of that. So it was quiet. I went out of my room in the morning, went for a walk, came back, stayed in that room until the next morning, went out, went for a walk. Not out of the compound, like in the compound, went for a walk, got back to my room, showered, prepared, started my day. Oh, until the next day, no, no up and down, stuff like that, nada. So the first day, it was um, laying down of ground rules because the, 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 the center has its own ground rules and the Holy Spirit had the ground rules I had to follow, right? So, um, and then the program, we started from midnight with exhortation, 4 a.m. with uh, morning devotion, faith workbook, 6 a.m. work, 7.30 a.m., um, start writing in journals, 8 break, 10, uh, la 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 la, 12, 33 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m., sleep, 11.45, up, midnight exhortation. Yes, and I did that for three days. I'm not saying that I followed that program 100%, but I did my best because I love the spiritual discipline. I love the spiritual muscles I build and all of those things. So I did learn a lot. The Holy Spirit made me research some things and all of that okay and then um day two was the real day when the retreat started that's why the apostle suggests that you, you cannot have a retreat of only one day it should be at least two days for me two days is small it's too, too short like the second day is actually the real day because the first day you get there maybe you check in by 11 even by 9 by 10 whatsoever but the time to kind of settle down familiarize yourself 
just lie down on the bed and say okay papa now it's you and i okay so what's the timetable and stuff uh, so it's day two that when i came back from my work on the 22nd of december you know i'm a lawyer so i like writing on the 22nd of december i started 2022 thanksgiving because day two was for thanksgiving and for direction now spiritual direction the man of god says you need to thanksgiving must be present in your retreat direction must be present evaluation of the year that just passed must be present um planning for the new year or for the new next season present and then prayer for the doing grace the grace to do all those things you have written don't make new year resolutions and then by january 15 you don't even want to see that book again no so i did that on day one and uh, direction for 2023 um god has already given me the word my team for 2023 so i'm very grateful so i wrote that down and then um he gave me direction how many directions did he give me he gave me eight main directions um yeah eight main directions and then i also gleaned from some other sources and uh, uh something that's very important is remain steadfast in giving thanks um i must declare them boldly over my life obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestation health uh my 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 health and my spirit mind very important and my mental development some of these things i got from the different teachings of the apostle which had also been marked to be studied during the retreat right okay so um that was very beautiful um a lot of learning a lot of learning but those are the two main things that I looked at on day two and then um, there was also I think a movie or two I had to watch and also a book I had to read so it was very intense and uh, I was fasting so it was just me and God and just those things and nothing and uh, there were periodic naps because when you do those things you have to nap and shower breaks and all of those things very beautiful and um, I studied about financial inquiries I studied about destiny help us i studied about a lot of those things okay so um on the third day now i had to study i had to do um um uh, what did i have to do i had to evaluate the year did i evaluate the year i think i evaluated my year on that same day too let me check my i did it everywhere but man, i sometimes have like 10 but i will see the dates here let me check. Uh, my goodness. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore, Lord. You give the healing and grace that hearts always longer for. Oh, our hearts always longer for yeah on the 21st actually when i got there i wrote my projects my main projects for the year one of which includes writing books and um, two books actually yeah <laughs> 21st just general yeah setting the ground and stuff writing things here and all of that um and then um that was planning planning was done on the 23rd but the evaluation was done on the 22nd and was evaluation done in this book too well i know that i did my evaluation where i did the evaluation i cannot remember but i think it's in one of those other journals that yes i did my evaluation so i did thanksgiving i did direction concentration for direction and then i did evaluation of this year and then um uh, learn watch movie listening to teaching christian movie of course well, i had to learn something from those movies like i was like okay and then i slept and at midnight i was up for exhortation and then the next day la, 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 la. then it was time to do um planning 2023 planning like 10 pages <laughs> Mark. and after planning um pray for the doing grace father god oh, sleep on the ground do whatever 
as the spirit leads you but you need to pray for that grace it's so important um so that is it about personal retreats and uh, they're very important and um what else can i tell you please especially if you're a servant of god now you're not going to kill yourself only doing 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 you need to take some time away you know just spend some time with god just draw let him also minister to you you cannot just be the one ministering to people or even minister to him in praise and worship yes now it's time to say papa i am listening i've come here i am use me papa feel me or tell me beat me to write you know i love writing so my own is like okay take your book write no change the pen red pen black pen blue pen and after that's how it works for me so i wanted to share like that you know uh my purpose in life is to inspire and motivate and encourage people from all walks of life with my personal experiences in all areas of my life right so i don't hold back and then uh going on that retreat was something very 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 um commendable laudable and um i i was ministered to in all areas of my life my association my finances my therapy practice my my ministry my every area motherhood journey everything i'm like father thank you so much so please i know that the year is ending you can go for one day only you can do it in your room you can go to the mountain you can because if you don't plan now okay fine yeah uh, failing to plan is planning to fail am i the one who said it uh you know god plant everything jesus plan people plan we learn in the bible people plan 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 you don't just go for war without even sitting and measuring your army if you can fight and all of those things no and you don't just uh, start to build a house without checking your finances and all what you have raw materials or even the people you know who could help you in that um, whole process right so i had planned this retreat I, I think it was in october that i really got the word and uh, november so i started you know the twenty thousand might be small for some people it's much for some people and for me it was like under no circumstance should I not go for that retreat. So I kept it things, you know, I found out, you know, contacted people, found out who, uh, how much, gone there myself, you know, made my reservation. I was like, nope, I am going. So just that told my mother I'm going for a retreat. She's like, yeah, that's a good idea. I was like, it just has to be good because I'm going, I had already made up my mind. So no turning back. You know, when you put your hand on the plow, you don't look back as, tired as you can be and all of those things well that's your own you know just do it if you don't do it now you still do it so the best thing to do is just do it now <laughs> okay well so people i'm very proud of myself that i have sat down finally to do this because it was really convicting like are you going to do it or you're not going to do it i'm like hey papa papa thank you papa i'm going to do it so he has done wonderful things for me um he told me that i should start going back to church because things moving to Bonaberry. I didn't really have a church of my own and I would just follow my mother and go to the cathedral and just sit there and, uh, but I, I mean I, I love I love being in a place of fellowship worshiping in communion and all of that in spirit and in truth so when he told me okay in 2022 you're going to go back and you'll be active in service and everything so I said okay show me now so that by 2023 I'm already good uh, I thought it was somewhere else that's how I'm always thinking I want to do God's work. No, he said, nope, get out. <laughs> and then he finally um, told me where I should go to, just like that. And I went there and it's such a marvelous place. I'm like even more cautious about just sharing my experience there for now. But I think next year I'm going to be more um, vocal about that place. It's called Victory House, right? Planters Mission Missions International. God, God, you yeah, are something else, frankly speaking. I just wish more people could have this kind of relationship that you and I have. Oh, Father, thank you so much. Papa, I just want to give you all the glory. Oh, I have your way in my life. I might be physically tired, but I am spiritually strong. I give you all the glory, Papa. I give you all the glory. I don't even know how to pray again, Papa. I just know that I want to say, Rabba, Rabba, Rabba. Ah, papa, 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 take all the honor. 
I worship you, Papa. I just want to say, you are Yahweh. 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 Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. My heart is beating, 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 beating. God. Okay, well, people, blessed be Jesus Christ for all times. Amen. God bless us all. Do have a wonderful crossover, wonderful end of year. Let's just let God just grace us all to meet each other again in 2023. And to all servants of the Lord, take these few days and just rest and um, just go to God and say, Father, here I am. Tell me, I have come to draw. Amen. Bye, everyone. God bless us all.